but as an upcoming director, um, The Rings is only your second film working in a true horror genre because Demonic was the only other one that you produced. So what really got you into the horror movie area? Uh, well, I was actually, right before The Ring, I was doing uh, The Crow, uh, developing The Crow. I was for two years working in that project and it was kind of dark already. <laughs> So, because of that movie, uh, become delayed like a couple of times, and then I got the the call from Walter Parks, uh, that is our producer, Walter and Laurie McDonald, uh, to do this one. At the beginning, I was a little bit surprised, like if because of you know it's the ring, and but at the same time, I I love to work with suspense and darkness and explore psychology, so this movie was giving me the chance to play with all those elements. And I'm a huge fan of the first one. And, uh, and the Ringu, Ringu the, the original from Japan. Uh, so I, I, I couldn't say no. I was like excited about the idea. I ex tried to explore and to, to give uh, to the movie a little bit of uh, the soul and personality that I think that sometimes it's is missing, like uh, to care about the composition, the visuals, like Corby Binsky did beautifully in the first one. You mentioned uh, Ringu in the original. What inspiration did you grab from that, other than the watch the tape, you die part of it? But what did you grab from it inspiration-wise to make this one? Well, uh, I think the the original Ringu has a lot of elements of uh, cultural elements that they are very strange for us because it's like a totally different culture, right? Uh, I think that uncomfortable situation uh, that you feel, uncomfortable feeling when you see that movie, part of it is because of that cultural difference. Uh, that's why I tried somehow to translate that, especially in the new images of the video, uh, try to understand that and try to extend it as much as I, I could. So explore those like elements. There is some pieces actually that they didn't end in the movie, but they were like reference, direct reference to the original yeah. Ringu. Uh, you will see it in the extras of the DVD probably. Uh, so yeah, I think to to bring that to the table and, and rescue that from the original ring, the, uh, the, the original work by Gorban Binsky, that I think he did a pretty amazing job. So on Demonic, uh, James Wan had written the story, horror aficionado. So did he help you, or working with him, did that help you out trying to make this horror movie? Any it, things uh, from him? James, I met him in LA. I think he's one of the top, most talented guys in horror in the world right now. Uh, it's very, very curious because actually horror is calling me since I arrived to, to LA because actually my visa, uh, the first visa I got, uh, I got support by Wes Craven. Mm -hmm. He's the one who actually helped me to come to LA because he saw my previous movie before the fall. Uh, he actually w wanted to do a remake, like a, like a horror remake of the movie, right? So somehow I, I think I have been like attracted to the dark, uh, to the darkness of this genre and working with both, with, Bo uh, with Wes Craven, I was, at some point, we were talking about making a remake of one of his movies that is another classic called, um, in English, it's called People Under the Stairs. Mm. Uh, I good. love that movie. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think working with him, getting to know him a little bit, and, and with James Wan, that I think James is, it's great, he's like a super cool guy, and he's very twisted and has strong elements. I think uh, get me into love this, this genre too. And, and be able to say, okay, I'm gonna go for it and have fun doing it like like James always does, right? He always have fun doing it.